Can you start off just by saying and spelling your name for me? Uh, my name's Clive Palmer. And you're a photographer? Yes, I've worked with, uh, with publications like Vogue Australia. Oh my gosh, you're perfect. <laughs> Hi, if you're watching this video, you would know that my name is not Clive Palmer. And Clive Palmer is not a famous photographer. He's a big fat man who used to be a politician in Australia. My name is Lewis Spears. I'm a stand-up comedian and I love getting fake stories on the news. In fact, I've done this so many times in my home country, Australia, that the television program Media Watch said this about me. Spears is a comedian and serial pest. So when you've tricked most of the media outlets at home into running fake stories about you, where do you go next? The answer is pretty obvious, the United States of America. In this video, I will show you how I tricked American news network ABC Nightline into doing a fake story on a fake photographer and broadcasting that fake story nationwide. So enjoy the ride, don't believe everything you hear on the news, and hopefully I'll catch you at a show sometime. For aspiring influencers, the pink wall in Los Angeles is the go-to spot for amateur photo shoots. Every day, hundreds of Instagram models make the pilgrimage down Melrose Avenue to post the same photo as everyone else that day in the hopes of becoming famous. We invited a select group of aspiring models across the road to an exclusive photo shoot with Australia's most famous photographer, Clive Palmer, who of course, doesn't exist. But if we told them he worked for Vogue Australia, how far will these wannabe stars go to catch their big break? What I really like getting is just people in the moment of yelling. Okay. Um, so if you can just give me like a, just like a really quick, like, ah, like a shout like that. Ah! That's good. One more time. Ah! That's great. That's, That's really, awesome. really good. Okay. Ah! Always fashion photography? I've or? done a lot of things in Australia. Mm -hmm. I've shot for Vogue Australia. That's incredible. Um, yeah, so that was a big achievement. Act as if everything you've been told is a lie. Just like really confused and shocked. That's good. I liked working with Clive because whenever the photographer brings that energy, it's so easy to give it back. Say for me quite slowly, Clive is a lie. Clive is a lie. That's good. One more time. Clive is a lie. Can you just do some star jumps for me and just smile? Wonderful. My photo shoot is going well. All I need now is an assistant. Wave it up and down, that's great. Beautiful, that's amazing. That's I'm great. getting some great shots and my models are cooperating perfectly. Let's see if we can recreate some famous Australian photographs of our politicians. First up, Bill Shorten eating a hot dog incorrectly. Beautiful. And can you just hold it up as high as you can there? Great. I really like the atmosphere. I really like the way how he worked with me. Let's try something harder. Tony Abbott eating an onion. Surely not. Do I need to bite? Yeah, that's amazing. Look just like Tony Abbott, that's beautiful. You just kind of move it side to side like this. Amazing. Cool. That's great. You can and of course, it. it wouldn't be an Australian photo shoot without a shoey. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's great. I enjoy working with Clive. I mean, he's kind of just like a, you know, normal person. Yeah, just hold that. He didn't make it feel uncomfortable. And I like, you know, your movement and what you guys stand for. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Beautiful. So we're just packing up. We thought we were done, but over there near the pink wall, a news crew has rocked up and they're doing a story about the news. They're with ABC Nightline. So we've got one of my producers to go over there and tell them that I'm a famous photographer from Australia to see if we can get an interview. The woman I'm trying to fool isn't just any journalist. This is Lana Zak. She has a master's degree from Harvard University and she's so good at her job, she's even won an Emmy Award for outstanding coverage of a news story. Let's see if this professional journalist is smarter than me, a man who failed high school. Can you start off just by saying and spelling your name for me? Uh, my name's Clive Palmer. And you're a photographer? Yes, I'm a photographer from Australia. I'm doing quite well in the photography industry, but no one's really done photography until they come here. Why? 
it's on everyone's bucket list to come here. So that's why we flew with a, with a crew to come here you and came just here take with photos. A crew to take photos? A three person crew, yep. So I've worked with, uh, with publications like Vogue Australia um, and we just had to come here and just get photos of the wall. But it's just a pink wall. It's not just a pink wall, it's an art piece. It's what makes it art? Well, just the, the amount of people that are coming here and connecting with the wall every single day, obviously it's resonating with a lot of people. And, uh, you know, who, who is anyone to question what art is? I think that if people are showing up to come and view and take photos of it, then that's what art is. Oh my gosh, you're perfect. <laughs> That's wonderful. That, that was wonderful. Um, if you're going to give me advice, since you're a photographer, yep. I'm going to take a picture. I'm visiting from DC yep. here at the, the Pink Wall, mm -hmm. which I do to make a good photo. Well, if it was me, if you were working with me, yeah. I like playing with, with props. So I have something here. I've got, an, I've got an onion. So if you were to treat that as if it was an apple, uh, and you were about to take a bite out of it, but like a dramatic pose. Oh, a dramatic? Yeah, yeah. Like almost so, like... So all, like this, and like you're about to take a bite. That's wonderful. Like that? Yeah, and then I would take that just like this, and I think that. Will you take is... a photo for me? Yes, I will. I can take a photo for you for sure. <laughs> it's good to work with a fellow professional. These poses are pretty good, but can I get this professional journalist to actually sink her teeth into an onion she got from a stranger's pocket? Can I actually try bite it? Yeah. Huh. Didn't even have to ask. I guess she was hungry. That's beautiful. I love that. Wait, wait, glasses are better without glasses. Is I like better really? without. This journalist yeah. wants to be in Vogue Australia so badly, she hasn't noticed her own camera crew aren't even yeah. filming her anymore. What a professional. I was so convincing that I actually got the journalist to take a bite out of the onion, which is just incredible. So there's some amazing journalism in America. I'm very impressed. Surely someone at ABC Nightline would at the very least Google the name Clive Palmer, realise that I'm lying to them and not actually air my interview. Clearly, like the rest of us, I put far too much trust in journalists doing their research because on the 20th of September, ABC Nightline aired my interview nationwide. We followed him to the streets of Melrose, the episode center of Instagrammable moments. We flew 24 hours almost just to capture the famous pink wall in LA. Now that's what I call fake news. 